Hey guys, I'm David Burns. Thanks for joining me today. We have a water issue. What's going on? Do you realize all the bees that are coming and going here may not be bringing in nectar, they may be bringing in water. And today I wanna to share with you why bees need water. They're not like us that we can't, uh, you know, we get thirsty, we gotta drink a lot of water. Bees aren't so much like that. But if you're not giving your bees water, you might be setting them back a lot. So we need to talk about bees and water today. Usually when I'm up on the roof like this, I'm usually checking out my weather station problems or maybe I'm looking into a ham radio antenna. But today I've got to find out what's going on because I happened to be walking by the house today and I saw a lot of bees up in the gutter. And I'm like, what? going on and it's like what's going on this is pretty unusual all these little maple helicopters from the tree look down in the gutter there they're clogged up my gutter and the water is backed up and all of these bees are down in there actually drinking from my gutters do you see the bees lined up look at that they're just in there getting water so this is gonna be a video to help you guys realize it's so important that bees have water. And whoa, wait, take a look at this. But obviously we've had a lot of rain and yet bees are really going after water the last few days. So it's time we remedy the problem and solve this issue of what's going on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a shallow bird bath with some sugar water. Now it's important to realize we're not gonna keep the sugar water going very long. It's just enough to bait the bees into this water bath with a little bit of sugar water one time. Then we just add water thereafter. So by setting the bird bath over here, you wanna pick a spot where bees won't be bothering people that are at your picnic or people that are at your family gathering or something. You just wanna go ahead and set it somewhere out of the way where it won't be bothering people. Because if bees really need a lot of water, they're gonna be attracted to this area. So choose the area wisely. So here in Illinois, if we don't nail something down, it will blow away. I think I can fit some of these big spikes down into the ground. Yeah, that'd fit good right there. You guys are blowing up my channel. I appreciate it so much. Please subscribe, click on the bell to be notified each time I work hard to make you a new video. And by the way, if you give me a thumbs up, click on the like button, whatever you want to call it, it helps my videos so much. Please do that right now. Screw it on down into the base better like that. All right, good. Oh yeah, that won't blow away too easily. Now let's fill it up. We'll put a few floaters in here. This is a great way to help your bees um, actually have something to stand on. Bees aren't very good swimmers. So if you can put some uh, sticks, I got some tree bark here off the maple tree that's making all those little helicopters. And this will just give our bees something uh, to um, cause them not to drown. So I've added one cup of sugar per one gallon of water. Now, I wanna tell you another thing that we have to do to make this work. We actually have to go back on the roof and clean out the gutter problem. If the gutter drains properly, it won't sit there and hold water and cause the bees to uh, go after it. So what we wanna do is go up there and fix that problem, and then the bees will be more attracted to our water feeding station. Now, all of this can be made a little bit better by taking something like a real heavy rock if you're really in a windy place like, like I am, and just set it right there. This will help stabilize and keep this from being blown over in the wind. This is just plastic. Now it's probably gonna take several days for the bees to actually, oh, I, just, I see a bee. <laughs> but I think it's gonna take several days for the bees to actually find this water source. Uh, we'll keep an eye on it and see. Wow, this is crazy. My bees are having such a nectar flow today, and yet I see bees going out and gathering a lot of water. A lot of you may not really understand why bees gather water, or even how they do it, or more importantly, should you be providing water for your bees? I'm here to tell you today, bees need a lot of water. Let's break it down. First of all, how do bees gather water? They actually fly out as foragers, just like they go and gather nectar from flowers. Instead, they actually gather water. They bring water back to the colony 
and bees are waiting to receive the water and the bees carry it back to the colony in their honey crop uh, and just like they would nectar. So the receiving bees have a known understanding of if the colony needs that water. If they need it, they quickly go to the incoming foragers and they pass the water off through trophallaxis. And that's mouth to mouth. They just hand off, the foragers hand off the water to the awaiting bees. Those bees use it for various reasons in the colony. Now, if those bees in the hive are excited about receiving the water from the foragers that are incoming, then the foragers turn right around and go back and bring more in. But if the receiving bees inside the colony aren't really acting too excited about the incoming water, then the foraging bees don't really go back so fast and get more water, they may go back to getting nectar. So the incoming water, the, the foragers carrying the water back in their honey crop, actually determine uh, whether they should go back or not. They decide based on how quick the water is received by trophallax by the other bees in the hive. Now, what do bees do with the water once they get it? There's a lot of needs in the colony for water. I'll tell you about a few of them that you may already know. They have to thermoregulate the hive. The temperature has to be just right. They use water droplets, place it on the edges of the cells, like in, in the case of cat pupae, uh, where there's a ridge around the hexagonal cell. They'll actually put droplets of water there, fan their wings, evaporative cooling will cool the hive. They have their own cooling system for really hot days. So on a really hot day, bees are go strictly on water detail, forget foraging, and just try to keep the hive from getting too hot and killing the pupae that's developing. Another need is the honey itself. Sometimes in the summer, the honey can become very thick and the bees need it to, to eat. They need it to uh, be ready to be capped over at a certain percentage of moisture. So if it dries down too much, the bees will actually add water to it so they can use it. That's another way. Another interesting reason bees need water in the hive is not so much like us. I mean, we're made up largely of water. Bees aren't so much like that. And they're not doing a water detail because they're dying of thirst. But for example, nurse bees actually need water to help them make royal jelly to feed the developing larvae. Yeah, that's right. They actually are going to need moisture uh, so they can activate the hypopharyngeal glands. That will help them make the world jelly necessary to feed the one to three day old larvae developing. So they need that mixture of water to help them produce world jelly. Now, another way that you may not have thought about, but in the case of winter time, the bees need moisture or water to actually break down the thickness of their own honey or when we give them candy boards, they use moisture, water in the hive to actually make the candy or the sugar that we're feeding them that's harder candy in the wintertime digestible to them. They're not going to really crunch down on big, hard table sugar like you would think or crystallized honey. They're going to need moisture to break that down. Every Thursday, it's live stream, 7 p.m. Central Time. I wish you would join me. Please join me. Here's a link in the description below. And you can tune in, ask your questions, and we can talk together on live stream, Thursday, 7 p.m. Wow, it's so cool to see so many bees flying today, bringing in so much nectar. But like we've been talking about today, if your bees are hot and they don't have any water, they may not be progressing like they should and they may not be making as much honey. Now, if you wanna see a video that I recently made on how to help your bees make more honey, I know you're interested in that, check it out right here, how to make more honey. I'll see you over there.